All right, one minute to Mark on the World's Fair Expo. Thank you, Ryan. And the World's Fair is something that's been on our minds because we've been moving the country and moving the politics to be able to get the opportunity to bid. But I can tell you that when we reached out to the other countries and they could, it took them a second to think because the U.S. has really been gone from this, the thrill of people saying the United States wants to engage in the world, we're for that. In Minnesota, we've heard of Minnesota. What's out, where's that Minnesota? Oh, we know about Minnesota. We've heard about Mayo or some of them knew Ricky Rubio. And really, we began to discover that Minnesota has a reputation, a tradition, a way of being in the world that's an important step for us to make this possible. But beyond that, and this is, was my personal motivation, having a project that brings a whole state into the idea of considering our future and projecting our future and giving our young people something exciting to look towards, something exciting to remember and to carry on is crucial. And when I started this work, uh, Governor, uh, Senator Rudy Boschwitz, some of you remember Senator Boschwitz, but he called and said, I want to talk to you. And he said, come out and see me. And she said, when he was five years old, 1935, his family fled Hitler and came to New York. And he was from a little Polish village, and all of a sudden he was in New York, and he was lost. But in 1939, his parents took him to the New York World's Fair, and all of a sudden and he could see this whole world. And he, he says this eloquently, that in that moment, he began to understand what it meant for him to now be an American, what it meant for him to now be part of this world that was changing and going forward, and it transformed his life. And he's, you know, he was so eloquent about it, we use his story to help lead our bid in the global arena, and it is a powerful impact. But people around the world also want to connect with the middle of the country. And so they, they know the coast, sort of. They're not sure what's going on in Washington, but they have some sense that out here in this region is where the creativity, where the energy, you've heard a lot of it today, uh, people who learn to bootstrap and to make do and to then be the future making people of our country and of the planet. And so in this process, it's also been uh, kind of everyday reassuring that Minnesota and the energy that we're putting into bringing this bid and bringing this World's Fair here will be good for us, yes. Yes, 20 million people and all of that. But most importantly, for the world to see the kind of creative, energetic, uh, really productive entrepreneurial society that we are, and then to know that this is part of who we are as we leave the legacy behind. Because a lot of us, you know, we're, we're moving on here. But that legacy is something that the whole world can experience and the whole world can help stand on and build upon. There's a reason our state has the motto, the North Star State. I mean, there are things that we do that are real leadership for our country and for the world. This expo, this World's Fair on health and healing, on wellness and well-being for all, is just another way that we can be a North Star State. Thank you, Ryan, and thank you, Rob, for bringing us all together here today for this.